But mandating governments to nationalize the data may curb the power of the big corporations only in order to give rise to digital dictatorships. And politicians really, many politicians at least, are like musicians. And the instrument they play on is the human emotional and biochemical system. A politician gives a speech and there is a wave of fear all over the country. A politician tweets and there is an explosion of anger and hatred. Now, I don't think we should give these musicians more sophisticated instruments to play on. And I certainly don't think they are ready to be entrusted with the future of life in the universe. Especially as many politicians and governments seem incapable of producing meaningful visions for the future. And instead, what they sell the public are nostalgic fantasies about going back to the past. And as a historian, I can tell you two things about the past. First of all, it wasn't fun. You wouldn't like to really go back there. And secondly, it's not coming back. So nostalgic fantasies really are not a solution. So who should own the data? I frankly don't know. I think the discussion has just begun. Most people, when they hear the talk about regula regulating data, they think about privacy, about uh, shopping, about companies, corporations that know where I go and what I, I buy. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are much more important things at stake. So the discussion has hardly begun, and we cannot expect instant answers. We had better call upon our scientists, our philosophers, our lawyers, and even our poets, or especially our poets, to turn their attention to this big question. How do you regulate the ownership of data? The future, not just of humanity, but the future of life itself, may depend on the answer to this question. Thank you. Depressing talk. I must say, I'm quite starstruck sitting here listening to that stream of ideas. And I'd like to start with a very simple question, which is this. You paint this picture of a future that's quite scary. Um, how soon do you expect that future to be here? Are we talking about two years, 20 years, 200 years? I mean, how soon could we be dealing with digital dictatorships? I think that the, the time scale is decades. I mean, in 200 years, I guess there won't be any sapiens left. There'll be something completely different. Uh, two years, it, it's far too soon. So we are talking about a few decades. Nobody knows exactly how many. Right. Now, you're unusual because you actually stood up on that stage and you said, I don't know what the answer is. Okay, that's not something you hear a lot at the World Economic Forum. Um, it's admirably humble. But I'm curious, you know, as you look around the world today, do you see any countries or any groups of people or any academic groups that seem to be having a sensible debate about this? Do you see any reason for encouragement at all? Well, I think the world is divided into a very, very small group of people and institutions who understand what is happening and what is at stake, and the vast majority, not just of ordinary people, but even of politicians and business people who are not really... Oh, yes, they hear about data, yeah, data protection. Forrestal is told that every book, every book in the libraries, Every book in the colleges, every book in the universities, every book on this planet is misinformation. It's misinformation. So, which is initiated by the Draco reptilians as far back as 6,000 years ago.